Everybody's looking. Everybody's searching for those deals. Many of you went shopping on Black Friday. Many of you are shopping on Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday sales, of course, are lasting the majority of the week. I can't wait to share a number with you that we have saved Island Time Travel clients just in the last 24 hours. It's thousands. Plus, you know that we just returned from selling on the Carnival Breeze, the Thanksgiving selling. I'm gonna have a quick review about priority boarding, some thoughts on priority boarding, and some misses. There's a big miss with priority boarding. We fell into that category. And lastly today, we all cruise to eat the food. We love different venues, we love different dishes, but we love to eat, and three major cruise lines are set to spend two billion dollars next year on food alone. Let's talk about cruising and cruise news right now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. We're back at it, aren't we? We're back to work. Schedules are back to normal. I am back here in the studio. I'm happy to be sitting here in front of you. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for stopping by the show today. We are blessed to have you here. It's time. Let's drop our anchors right now. Let's take some time to relax in the islands together as so many of us are planning time in the islands together with family and friends who we saw over the long holiday weekend. There are deals and sales, Every all the emails. You guys are nowhere getting as many emails as I am and text messages, buy this, book that. We're gonna do it. Honestly, there are some very good Black Friday deals that are wrapping up and Cyber Monday deals better than expected. Honestly, listen to this. Island Time Travel has 68 cabins who qualify for price protection. That means that the price goes down on their cabin up until 48 hours, sometimes 72 hours, depending on the cruise line. Then passengers get that money back. And in 24 hours, all day yesterday and today, Amanda and I have worked on this, we have saved our clients of these 68 bookings, $8,132. We've saved you over $8,000. We're happy about that. If you have a cruise book, please, 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 if it has the early saver, if it has the price protection offerings that cruise lines have, go check your bookings. Get your money. It's your money. Use it when you need it, right? Islanders, let us know. Have you looked at these specials? Are you looking at booking? If so, reach out to Island Time Travel. Email us right there, travel at bookislandtime.com. Let's talk about our recent cruise. We just got home late Saturday evening from the Carnival Breeze. It was a great cruise. Some things were different. Some things didn't hit the mark, but any cruise to me is great. It wasn't one of our better ones. I talked about uh, a detailed review of our cruise on our live show yesterday. If you want to check that out, it is, it is of course on our YouTube channel. But let's talk about priority boarding. It was so nice to see priority boarding back, to see those signs that says platinum, and diamond guest, go this way, come here, cut this line, go through check-in in this special area, go through security in a short line, go sit over here and enjoy some time with all those who are priority. It was great to hear platinum guest can now board the ship. It was great to hear, but there is one piece I believe that's not back for priority boarding. You see, we booked this cruise five days before the sell date, it was last minute. But check-in had already started for this cruise. Of course, if you're Platinum and Diamond, you can check in 16 days before on Carnival Cruise Line. Everyone else gets 14 days. We booked five days before. So our check-in time was at 12 o'clock. It's not very priority when people start getting there at 10 o'clock. Now, when we got there at noon, of course, we were able to go through the priority lines. But I would have much rather have the option and the opportunity to get there at 10 o'clock and go through and be among the first people to enter the terminal, be among the first people to pick out where I want to sit and wait, to be among the first people to board the ship. Boarding started at 11. We could not arrive until 12 o'clock. Now, 
Many of you will probably say, well, Derek, book your cruise sooner. Book it earlier and you can do that. Yes, 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 I know. This was last minute and this happens to people. This is not just me. Islanders, let me ask you this. Priority boarding is back for Carnival Cruise Line, but do you think that you should receive priority boarding even if you book after check-in? If you book 48 hours before the ship leaves, five days like we did, 10 days, should you still be able to platinum and diamond sweet guest? Should you be able to be in the earliest check-in time? Let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and hear if you're excited about priority boarding on your next cruise. Listen to this, many of us like to eat, right? We eat when we're at home, we eat out when we're at home, but when we're on vacation, when we're on that cruise ship, many of us eat more there than we do anywhere else. Sometimes we have more than three meals per day. Sometimes we order more than one appetizer, one entree, one dessert. We like to eat, we spoil ourselves a little bit, even though we don't need that midnight pizza, we go and get the pizza anyway. Cruise lines, they see this. Cruise line prices on food, what they have to pay is going up. Three big players in the game are set to spend more than $2 billion on food alone in 2023. Carnival Corporation, Royal Caribbean Group, and Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings are all set to spend more than they ever have on food alone. Yes, some of it is because of inflation, but some of it is, a lot of us just like to order food. We like to try new things. We try this, we may not like it, we order something else, or maybe we really like it and we order a second one. Listen to these numbers. This is in uh, the third quarter alone of this year, 2022, July, August, September. Three months is all we're talking about with these numbers. Think about this, Carnival Corporation spent $259 million on food for three months. Those are all the brands that are underneath Carnival Corporation. Royal Caribbean Group spent $195 million on food and Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings spent $77 million on food alone. This is an increase compared to the last normal year, 2019. If you compare what Cruise Line spent in Q3 of 2022 compared to Q3 of 2019, yes, of course that price has gone up. Royal Caribbean Group spent $195 million in Q3 of 2022 compared to $150 million in Q3 of 2019. Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings spent $77 million in Q3 of this year compared to $57 million in Q3 of 2019. But one player in the game, Carnival Corporation, and those cruise lines that fall underneath the umbrella saw a reduction in food spending. Carnival Corporation, while they spent $250 million, $259 million in food in Q3, that was less than 2019. The cutbacks are working. Uh, removing some of those ships, remember they've removed 20 ships from their fleet, 20 ships from their fleet. And of course we've all seen the cuts and we complain and we moan and we groan about the cuts, but still our bellies are full. We find something else uh, to eat, another venue to eat, another time to eat, but maybe we can't get the pizza at three or 4 a.m. because it's closed, but we're gonna make sure we get it before it closes at 2 a.m. Islanders, let me ask you this. We speak of food. Let us know where your favorite venue is to eat on board any cruise ship in the industry or what is your favorite food? What's something that you look after, you seek after, you want to eat? And let me ask this question. I want to see what the results say about this. Do you eat more on a cruise ship than you usually eat at home? A friend told me that 100% of people eat more on a cruise ship than you do at home. I'm not gonna argue, I just wanna justify and validate that poll. Let us know, do you eat more on cruise ships than you do at home? I've enjoyed being back in the studio today. I've enjoyed this interaction with you. I can't wait to see what you say in the comment section below. I've got several of you that I have to email. We're working through these cruise deals. Let's see if we can save Islanders $10,000. We're at $8,132. Let's see if we can get to $10,000 in savings for all of you. Let us know. We can't wait to see you in the comment section below on Facebook, in our email inbox, and tomorrow right here on Island Time.